Okay, so I wanted to do a final video to wrap up the wiring section of the Long's uh, CNC conversion kit. And again, I have the 3 axis 1232 ounce kit that I'm using. And here you'll kind of see the whole setup. So we have a cheap used desktop picked up from the computer store next door. We have an empty case to house the internals of the, the kit and the three stepper motors and a copy of Mach 3. So inside you'll see the kit itself starting with the breakout board connected to the printer port, the parallel port on the computer, the three DM860A drivers, the three 60 volt power supplies. Uh, the one part of the kit that you can't see is the breakout board it requires a 5 volt power supply. Um, in my case, I'm just using a cell phone charger um, that's, that's wired into the plus and five, plus five and uh, ground wires. So, uh, one very quick note on the power supplies be careful if you use anything that much longer than a, a quarter inch, maybe even a quarter inch is too long, um, mounting bolt on the, on the holes here as it will ground out inside the machine and uh, at best causes circuit breakers to flip at worst cause cause a safety issue or, or damage to the equipment so with that said we'll take a look at the uh, interface of Mach 3 and you'll see over here is the jog mode so we will go in and you can see that that the X why? And Z. So uh, you'll notice X is much faster than Y and Z. I was playing around with the motor tuning a little bit. Um, in config, under motor tuning, you can adjust the velocity that the motors run at as well as the acceleration. So if I go in and I I set this back to 100, save that setting, click OK. Now X is running at the same speed as Y and Z. So X, Y, and Z. So hope that helps somebody. If you have any questions, uh, let me know and I'm happy to help. Thanks.